a her, she's a her too. Yeah, she sure is. Right. Yep. Thanks again, Jack. Well, so, Centrifuge is an umbrella entity under which Union Hall exists. We're in what's physically called Union Hall, multiple uh, floors with breakout rooms, and there's some enterprises that set up shop here in an incubation or acceleration context. And th this is this is the epicenter of Union Hall. Centrifuge is arguably unique in this country, maybe in the Western world, in the way in which it has become, by intention, the center of a spoke wheel and has reached out to either all or most of the entities that make up an, an, uh, an entrepreneurial ecosystem. And, and it focuses on the region and enables and facilitates uh, companies to start and or grow. And we'll hear more about it from its leader, Pete Blackshaw. Pete, you should know in advance of him walking up here, because uh, I, I don't want you to, I want you to not know this. He might be one of the most remarkable persons that you've ever met in your lives. Well, what do I mean in your lives? How was it recently? But <laughs> Pete grew up in the Los Angeles area, was entrepreneurial from the start, went to business school at Harvard. Procter & Gamble after was a sort of a radical there in the brand management system, of course. And, and he was a leader within PNG 20 plus years ago in exploring and advancing digital. He was Mr. Electronic while the company was still pumping out paper. And, and he moved that large ocean liner into the digital zone where it's now prominently placed as, as part of this effort, as part of this marketing plan to build various brands. He left p and I had the honor and pleasure of helping him depart, backing him in this in a startup of a consumer facing company. He ran it, built it, he sold it to Nielsen five or ten years later, and and subsequent to that, Pete was stolen by Nestle, moved to the Nestle home base in Switzerland, where he, Erica, and their children lived for eight years. He was in charge of global digital for Nestle. Nestle, as you might know, is a, is a large public company that sells lots of stuff. <laughs> But here he was in charge of digital for the entire world. They wanted him to stay till forever. And, and some, some ties here in Cincinnati, including over the Rhine, as he was a leader in the early days of stimulating interest in over the Rhine, that he finally was attracted to come back. That occurred three years ago. They're living happily ever, ever after or better. And, and as the person in charge of this operation, I said remarkable earlier, I guess I would assert that despite being relatively young, I've never met anybody with the leadership skills that he happens to possess, and therefore hopefully he'll manifest some of those when he comes up right now to speak. Pete, this is about you. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, never heard a bigger intro. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do I do I really need the mic? Do I need yeah. the mic? Yeah. No. Oh, and, and Pete, by the way, because of your genetic makeup, I'm going to mention your accomplishments. <laughs> People doing the first panel on the slide guys of this area. They demand you to be a member of that panel since you are the ultimate type of okay. person. <laughs> and so right. when you finish speaking, you're going to invite the other panelists. Okay. So don't be the same. Okay. Very much. <laughs>
thanks for the generous uh, intro. It's great to see all of you. Come join our 361 firm community of investors and thought leaders. We have a lot of events created by the community as we collaborate on investments and philanthropic interests. Join us.